in this video, we'll discuss a scalping trading strategy that is highly effective and very easy to use. The scalping strategy we'll cover today works well on 1 minute, 5 minute, and 15 minute timeframes. Additionally, you can use this scalping strategy to trade various assets such as Forex, Gold or XAUUSD, Crypto, Stocks, and many other assets. We won't make this video too long, so, make sure you stay until the end of the video, and don't forget to support us by liking and subscribing to this channel. To use this scalping strategy, you can start by going to Trading View. Next, go to the Indicator Search tab, in the Indicator Search tab, type in Extreme Trend. Then, just select Extreme Trend by Kakra Stocks. After that, make some adjustments to the Extreme Trend Indicator. In the Style tab, uncheck the box for X Trend. Next, change the color of the 200 EMA line to yellow. Once done, simply click OK to confirm the changes. This Extreme Trend Indicator will be used as a trend guide and a guide for placing orders in the market. If the price candlestick is above or closes above the 200 EMA, it's a sign of a bullish trend. In this situation, your main focus should be on finding the best point to place by orders. On the other hand, if the price candlestick is below or closes below the 200 EMA, it's a sign of a bearish trend. In this situation, your main focus should be on finding the best point to place sell orders. The triangle markers will be used as guides for placing orders in the market. A blue triangle marker indicates a buy signal. Meanwhile, a yellow triangle marker indicates a sell signal. Now, let's add the second indicator that will be used as a signal filter in the market. Go to the indicator search tab and type in RSI MFI. Then, just select RSI MFI by Cryptoda. Next, adjust the settings for the RSI MFI indicator. In the Input tab, change the length to 10. Then, go to the Style tab. In the Style tab, change the color of the RSI plot to navy. Next, uncheck the box for the MFI plot. Then, change the RSI overbought color to yellow. Also, change the RSI oversold color to white. Lastly, uncheck the box for the MFI background. Once done, simply click OK to confirm the changes. If you see a white cloud and a green bar appear, it's a sign that both the RSI and MFI indicators are in the oversold area. In this situation, we will look for the best point to place a buy order. On the other hand, if you see a yellow cloud and a red bar appear, it's a sign that both the RSI and MFI indicators are in the overbought area. In this situation, we will look for the best point to place a sell order. Now, let's discuss how to place buy and sell orders using this combination of indicators. How to place a sell order. If the RSI and MFI indicators show a yellow cloud and a red bar simultaneously, it's a sign that both indicators are in the overbought area. In this situation, your main focus should be on finding the best point to place a sell order. Then, wait for a sell signal from the X trend indicator. Make sure the price candlestick is below or closes below the 200 EMA line. For the final confirmation, ensure that the formed candlestick is bearish. If all conditions are met, you can place a sell order after the bearish candlestick closes. Place the stop loss at the last swing high. Use a take profit target with a risk to reward ratio of 1 to 1.5.
How to place a buy order. If the RSI and MFI indicators show a white cloud and a green bar simultaneously, it's a sign that both indicators are in the oversold area. In this situation, your main focus should be on finding the best point to place a buy order. Then, wait for a buy signal from the X trend indicator. Make sure the price candlestick is above or closes above the 200 EMA line. For the final confirmation, ensure that the formed candlestick is bullish. If all conditions are met, you can place a buy order after the bullish candlestick closes. Place the stop loss at the last swing low. Use a take profit target with a risk to reward ratio of 1 to 1.5. Click like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. That's it for this video, and see you in the next one.